2 Kings 14, 19. A conspiracy was formed against him in Jerusalem, and that is King Amaziah, son of Joash. And he fled to Lachish. However, men were sent after King Amaziah to Lachish, and they put him to death there. They carried him back on horses, and he was buried in Jerusalem with his fathers in the city of David. So today, man, we have a conspiracy against the chosen ones. We're, we're constantly under threat of attack by gangs of men. This is the, this is the original gang stalking. And we have to pray and ask for help. And so what does the Bible say? Let's see. In Psalms. Psalm 61. God, hear my cry. Pay attention to my prayer. I call to you from the ends of the earth when my heart is without strength. Lead me to a rock that is high above me. For you have been a refuge for me, a strong tower in the face of the enemy. I will live in your tent forever and take refuge under the shelter of your wings. So you can imagine why they cried out to God in prayer and song and psalms and poems. Because, I mean, literally they saw kings being hunted down like dogs as gangs of men were out in the wilderness looking to attack you. And today... The nature of the beast and man, as Ecclesiastes shows us. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Let's see. I said to myself, God will judge the righteous and the wicked, since there is a time for every activity and every work. I said to myself, this happens concerning people, so that God may test them, and they may see for themselves that they are like animals. So you see, we are like animals on this earth, and you can see that people are getting hunted down like dogs since the times of the Bible. And so now you can understand why the Bible is so important, because it's a history, a warning, and a solution that we need to cry out to God, as the psalm says, cry out to God in order to protect ourselves from these gangs of men who are attacking us. While we try to build civilization and try to be creative and build. And so the answer is to cry out to God for his help, for mercy and comfort. When my heart is without strength. And God will be a refuge for us. So we say this, we read this Bible in Jesus name. Amen.